Okay, welcome back. Let's talk now about domain name service, or DNS. This is sort of the phone book of the internet, and it's one of the details I glossed over in the prior lecture. You'll also see this called domain name servers, or a domain name system, or simply DNS. So when a user types, say, example.com into their browser, DNS looks up the name and then finds the corresponding information about where your site is stored. And I'm glossing over lots of details here that you just don't need to know at this stage in your development as a web developer. Now, if you use the same company for domain name registration and web hosting, setting up DNS is often automatic. You won't have to do anything. I pointed that out to you in the prior lecture when we were registering our domain. Those name servers were already set. The company takes care of it for you. But you do have the option of using separate companies for domain name registration and web hosting. Maybe you already registered your domain with, say, GoDaddy before you started this course, but you've decided you want to use a small orange for web hosting. Or you've registered a domain name with a small orange, but you want to host it through a company called Media Temple, which is another one that I sometimes use. In that case, you have to modify your domain name service. And here's how I do that at a small orange. If I wanted to register my domain with a small orange and had already done so, but I decide that I want to host my site through Media Temple, which again is one that I've, I sometimes use. So you'd first sign in. You can see that I've already logged in. I'm not going to show you that process right there, but I've created an account at a small orange. You may have done that when you registered your domain. And so I've signed in. I'm here at the customer area home, customers.asmallorange.com. And in the menu here, I see my domains, since this is where I have it registered. And this brings up a few domains that I own. So I'm going to go to this first one right here, and I see it says Manage Domains. And when I click on the drop down, an option here is Manage Name Servers. Okay, so right now these are set to the name servers that are owned and run by a small orange, which is what I would do if I was going to host my site at a small orange as well. But if I decided I instead was going to host my site at a site called Media Temple, rather than here at a small orange, I could just I could go to Media Temple and log in, but it's off this is public information. It's often very easy to find just through a Google search. So I just typed in Media Temple name servers. And I go to this first result here, which you can see is from mediatemple.net. And this pops up with a whole bunch of information, but I'm just going to scroll down to the key information that I need, which is this right here. And you can see that these look quite similar to the format here, ns1 dot, ns2 dot, but it's with mediatemple.net instead of a small orange.com. So all I would need to do if I was going to switch this over, and if I had my hosting account at Media Temple all set up, I could go in and I'd copy that first name server, and I'd copy that second name server. And don't worry about having more than that. There's a couple provided just so that there's a backup. If, if this one goes down for some reason or a browser can't access it, it will try this one next. There could be more than that, but uh, usually two is just fine. And then, and I'm not going to click it, but you would just simply type, you'd simply click change name servers, that button right there. It would make the change, and from then on, the phone book of the internet would know, all right, when you're looking for your domain name, your site, um, that domain name is registered here in a small orange, that's true, but I know now that it's hosted over at mediatemple.net, so I'll send you over to their name servers, and they will find the site for you and display it to the user. Very simple. Okay, that's it for DNS, and I'll see you in the next lecture.